Hey LeBron, that third quarter, uh, you had all four of your blocks and held Houston to 18 points. <clears throat> Just wondered what you saw um, at halftime, if you looked at anything, or how you adapted to that small lineup of keeping it to five, and what you took upon yourself on that side of the floor. Um, obviously, we knew we didn't play to our capability in, the, in that first half. Uh, we allowed too many straight line drives. We allowed some threes. We had some breakdowns um, that we didn't have in game two. Uh, we was able to come to the locker room, watch some film, see ways we can clean it up, and, uh, and was able to turn the game around in the third quarter from our defense. And that's what we hang our hats on. Um, since training camp, Coach Vogel and the coaching staff came in and said we want to be one of the best defensive teams, if not the best in the league. And um, you know, and, and, it, and it starts. You know, that's where it starts at for us. When we get stops, we're able to get out. And, you know, and, and, and run and, um, and capitalize. And, and in the third quarter, we was able to do that. Rondo told us on the Spectrum walk-off uh, that he doesn't necessarily buy into the playoff Rondo uh, thing that we talked about. I wonder where you stand on it, especially after these last two games, uh, in which it feels like he's really uh, played a major role in bringing this around. Hey, listen, whatever, at the end of the day, whatever makes Doe, uh, uh, you know, continue to play like he's playing, then, you know, I don't buy into it then either. Uh, but. I mean, he's been exceptional um, these last two games. Obviously, that first game he hadn't played in a while, so it was a fill-out game for him just like the rest of us. But these last two games is everything that we've uh, imagined being in the postseason. And for me, um, you know, being in the playoffs and, and being on the opposing side of him for so many years, um, I knew what he's capable of, especially in the postseason against those battles. So to now be on the same side as him and seeing, um, you know, um, it coming together for, for the both of us and for our team, um, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect. Hey, LeBron, this is Dave. Mike just mentioned those blocks you had tonight. You have eight in the series so far. Uh, in the past, you said like sometimes a bucket is more than a bucket. Um, can a block be more than a block? And what kind of impact uh, does that have on, on your guys' success when you're able to protect the rim like that? Uh, I'm just trying to be in the, in the right position. Um, you know, Houston spreads your team out because they have five shooters on the floor at one time and they have so many attackers. Um, so you have to be in the help, help side position. You can't be late or they make you pay for it. So, you know, for me to be able to, uh, you know, I say protect the rim or, or, or just be there early and be able to get blocks that, that doesn't go out of bounds. Some of them does go out of bounds, but uh, a couple of them tonight was able to keep in the play and was able to get out on the run. So uh, good momentum plays for us, especially in that third quarter when we were kind of going back and forth. But, uh, you know, just you know, just trying to be in the right, you know, right time, in the right place um, and, uh, and see what I can do. And uh, I was... I was able to be there uh, for a few of them. Um, well, I mean, I just try to take care of my body um, and also, um, you know, commit, you know, to the film. You know, put myself in the right position. Um, you know, understanding plays that happen before they happen sometimes, and trying to not be late. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, d throughout the day, uh, preparing my mind, preparing my body for for whatever happens. And uh, my teammates do a good job of um, you know staying in front of the ball at times. And if they're able to get beat a little bit, I'm able to protect them. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, like you said, I, I've never had a, a quarter before where I had four blocks in it. So um, you know, they always say it's the first time for everything, and tonight was one of them. Um, no, not really. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to kind of let it sink in or, or even think about it. Um, I'm already kind of preparing for game four. Um, but when I hear it, I mean, it's, it's, it's just to know the, the history of the game. Um, you know, from growing up as a kid, watching the NBA playoffs, seeing so many dominant players, so many dominant franchises, uh, seeing who was victorious out there, uh, you know, during um, a lot of series. Um, and, and to know that I'm, uh, I sit at, at the top of the most wins for any individual, um, you know, is very humbling, and it's something I, I never dreamed of. I, didn't, I never came into the league or as a kid saying I want to be uh, number one in playoff wins. Um, you know, I've always said I wanted to be a part of a winning culture and be a winning player and do whatever it takes to help my teammates win. And uh, this is the result of it. But uh, it doesn't happen without, uh, you know, my teammates over the years, my coaching staff, so, coaching staff over the years. Um, you know, everyone from the top to bottom, you know, GMs, you know, owners, 
uh, you know, training staffs, ball boys, everything. Every, everyone has a hand in that um, because we're all a part of uh, the process and the success. Um, so either if I was in Cleveland or Miami um, and now with the Lakers, um, I've been a part of three uh, great organizations that has allowed me to be a part um, of something that's historic. Um, when you um, when you have no, you know people that you can trust and be in the foxhole with you. Um, from not only a basketball uh, aspect, but from a cerebral um, aspect. Um, you know, the postseason is about making adjustments from game to game and also being able to make adjustments on the fly um, because things happen if, in, in, in real time that it's easy to be, I always say, like a Monday morning quarterback. It's easy to go and watch the film on Monday after you play Sunday and be able to look at, you know, the, the defender playing over the top and say, I shouldn't have passed it there or the linebacker dropping back in zone and say, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have thrown a comeback route, you know, and things of that nature. It's easy to kind of do that. And, and that's needed though. You, you definitely need that. But being able to make adjustments on the fly and being able to see how defenses are playing and seeing how, how the game is being played and seeing how the flow of the game is being played. Um, there's, there's not many guys that can do that in our league. And in the postseason is, um, is gigantic. And uh, having Doe uh, on your side definitely helps. Um, I would just say I'm in a, in a better rhythm. Um, I don't want to say that um, as far as physically, um, I am where I would love to be um, because of some things that we're just being here in the bubble that's uncontrollable, some things we can't control. Um, but I think <clears throat> from a rhythm standpoint, um, I am where I would like to be, but I want to continue that. And uh, it's all about just playing basketball efficiently, you know, and being effective out on the floor in my minutes. and, um, and, and doing whatever, like I said, whatever it takes to try to help our team win. And uh, I've always been a winning player and that's what all that matters to me. Mark Medina. Um, well, I want to tell you exactly what I do because I'll be giving my opponents my, my, my ingredients. But uh, let's just say that uh, my, my wife is not enjoying what I do on a day-to-day -day basis inside the bubble, getting ready for a game. Let's just say that. <laughs> Spent a lot of time, a lot of time on my body, for sure. One, um, we don't know how many opportunities we're going to get at this level. Two, uh, our league uh, kind of tries to weed guys like us in our later years out of the league. Um, and you see it uh, a lot. Guys in, you know, in their 30s, mid 30s, you know, they kind of try to stray away from the vets and things of that nature. So we take that's a little pride um, as well. Um, and then three, um, some people is built for this moment and some people are not. And, um, and, I, and I, I just think that when you've been uh, in the process and you've been building your mind and your body and your soul for the postseason, no matter the circumstances, no matter the environment, um, then you're able to rise. Now, that doesn't always mean that you're going to play well. That doesn't mean you're going to win. But you can leave the game, you know, and, and sleep OK at night if you lose. And I say great because you can never sleep great at night when you lose. I don't even sleep great when we win because I always feel like you could do things, um, you know, better and better and better. So. But at the end of the day, it's just, you know, that pride factor from understanding that, you know, our league um, has kind of, you know, tried to get away from the vets and, um, 
you know, and then just, you know, just living in the moment. You know, you, you don't have that many, you know, the opportunities, you know, to, to be a part of a great team, to be a part of great teammates. You don't know. You don't know what can happen, um, you know, from year to year. So you just try to make the most of it. Thanks, LeBron. You don't want the last one? I'm not going to see you for I don't know when. That's you're leaving for law school. That's, that's it? Okay. I'm, I'm, you sure? Uh, okay. All right. I don't know. You know. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.